Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Listen, <laughs> today this reading is going to be for a specific sign. We're going to find out what that sign is together. So please be your own leader of discernment while watching this general reading. Not everything is going to resonate and that is okay. So pick up what does and drop the rest for someone else to appreciate. Capiche, capiche. All right. So don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. It is greatly appreciated and it does help out the channel. Listen, y'all, let's see what we got going on in the end of day. Okay. I just got done doing the collective reading. So let's just see what we got going on. Who is this reading going to be for, Spirit? Who is this reading going to be for? Let me just cleanse the energy. Let's hit the gong. Mm. Okay, sorry. Let's see what we got going on. Um, I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, like whoever this reading is going to be for, you're dealing with a real petty ass person. Like someone here just won't give up being a weirdo or just doing like little petty shit, okay? This could be someone here who's trying to do magic to like, like to irritate you or something like this. All right, or to annoy you or this person is very annoying or this person... <laughs> I don't know. Or this person's annoyed by you. Who knows, child? Let's find out who this is for. This could be an ex that you know you want nothing to do with, and they just can't seem to leave you alone. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? Who is this uh, Zodiac? Who is this reading for, Spirit? Who is this reading for, please? Can we get a Zodiac sign, please? Just one card. Thank you. Aries, did I do y'all? I feel like I did. <sighs> I did. Okay, so let's move on. You guys could be dealing with an Aries or someone who has Aries somewhere in their chart. Okay. There's someone here that is like desiring you, all right? Maybe they're finding it hard to come out and speak something to you. We got Sagittarius. Did I do Sagittarius? Sagittarius, Sagittarius. I don't think I did. Okay, Sagittarius, this is your reading. So you're dealing with a real petty ass person. This is a Tom Petty. This is a a petty page. Let's do this. Okay, so you can have Sag anywhere in your chart, Sun Moon Rising Venus, North Node, South Node. Someone's targeting you, Sag. It's heavily targeting you. Someone here is definitely. This is for some of you, not all y'all. You guys could be noticing someone's following you at this time, okay? We have Leo. This is going to be something that's exposed. Whoever's targeting you is about to get exposed. You guys could be dealing with a Leo, or you could have Leo somewhere in your chart. There's a need for you to continue to stay confident. I also feel like Sagittarius, someone here wants to, um, all the fire signs are out here. Um, you could have fire heavily in your chart, okay? Or you're dealing with other fire signs, Sag. Um, but what I was going to say is that you got somebody here who's really trying to target you because they want to like shoot down your confidence. Somebody here really wants to, um, take, have you take a blow to your self-esteem or something here. Like someone wants you to not create, someone also is trying to get you to not create something here or to not take a risk when it comes to, you know, someone doesn't want you to take a risk on yourself. Like, somebody here doesn't want you to invest in yourself. Somebody here doesn't want you to believe in yourself. Someone here doesn't want you to take a leap of faith, all right? We have Gemini. You guys could be dealing with a Gemini or someone who has Gemini somewhere in their chart. There's someone here that's finding it very hard to, like, they're finding it to be a challenge to come in and communicate something to you. Maybe communicate some sort of truth or some sort of information that, that has been withheld from you, okay? There's somebody here that wants to explain themselves to you is what it feels like, Sag. Okay? 
Somebody here wants your forgiveness, your understanding. We have Aquarius. You guys could be dealing with an Aquarius. All right. You're being asked to hold on to your vision as well. You're going through a like a really powerful transformation at this time, Sag. You guys could be like really, you guys are doing some sort of deep healing, okay? There's a need for you to go back outside or to go, you know, touch some grass or something like this, all right? If you're staying um, inside a lot, you need to go outside. I also feel like um, sunbathing, some of you need to get more vitamin D or something like this. Something about the power of the sun is very significant for you, Sag. There's something here about um, more water. Oh, that scared me. Tell me more. More water. Something's going to come to you at a surprise or something here. We got a Taurus. You guys could be dealing with a Taurus or someone who has Taurus somewhere in their chart. Some sort of, something here about money. You guys could be healing your money situation, okay? Maybe you're about to be getting some sort of information or communication that will help you, okay? Obtain some sort of resources here or, or maintain them. We have Virgo. You guys could be dealing with a Virgo or someone who has Virgo somewhere in their chart. You're about to find out some sort of details here. About an ex of yours that's still in their feelings. This person could be highly focused on you and obsessed. This person is hoping, someone might be coming in with some sort of lies as well. So just be mindful, Sag. Someone here is coming in with some sort of lies. Someone here wants to come in appearing to be like your, your knight in shining armor. Um, somebody here that you envision for yourself or something, or someone wants to be your ideal partner or they want to appear as your ideal partner. So just be mindful of this person's uh trickery all right and manipulation i feel like whoever i'm speaking to you could have you could be already picking up this energy holy spirit holy angels what's going on my sagittarius is what they need to hear at this time for their highest good regarding this retain what do my sagers need to hear spirit sagger sagers we have third house so someone here definitely wants to communicate something to you or you definitely are dealing with a gemini that's for some of you not all y'all Someone here could be sending you negative energy when it comes to your hands, okay? So maybe someone here could be trying to get your hands to be achy, get your joints to be inflamed or something here. For some of you, you guys could be experiencing some sort of shorter shoulder pain or something like that. That's for some of you, not all y'all. You're about to learn something here new or there's something here about you needing to travel somewhere in order to, to to gain a new perspective on something or um there could be something here about one of your siblings a neighbor maybe they're going to communicate something to you or there's a need for you to self-express yourself okay there's a need for you to express yourself basically express yourself we got horse someone here could have the chinese zodiac sign of the horse this could be you or somebody else yeah, there's a need for you to express yourself. It's it's regarding your independence or your ability to be independent. I don't know how loud this music is. Let me turn it. Oh, that's too up. Why do I feel like that's loud? I'll just leave it. Okay. Someone here could be real, you could be dealing with someone who's really self-centered, or you're going to find out how selfish somebody really is because of something they did to you in the past, okay? Someone here is going to communicate something to you about this, all right? Some sort of, something here about rapid communication or something coming in rapidly or somebody wants to speak to you very quickly. We got Sagittarius, okay? So... You guys could be dealing with another Sagittarius or something. This is just your this is your energy. Flip where it needs to go. I see. You're about to see something clearly here, Sag. Or you already see through this um 
self-centered, impatient, impulsive person. So someone here is going to be rushing towards you quickly, trying to communicate something to you, Sag. And you're going to see right the fuck through it. Okay? Um, ciao. Someone's going to come in exaggerating some sort of truth here. What the hell going on for my Sagers? What's going on with my sand? We got Aries. You guys could deal with an Aries or someone who has Aries somewhere in their chart. Maybe there's an Aries or a father figure or a boss or something that owes you money. A baby father maybe owes you money. Something here about resources, maybe about a home, a property, something like this. They're going to communicate this to you. Or you need to express yourself of like, be calm, you, something about affirming. Maybe I am affirmations or something. There's a need for you to affirm. Affirm what is already yours or something here. It says I am. Okay. Or like I was saying before, someone's finding it hard to communicate something to you. Because they don't want to, um, someone doesn't want to admit what they have done is the vibe I'm getting or what they participated in. We got a rat. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the rat. Someone here is about to get ratted out. Okay. Or maybe you're being guided to tell the truth about somebody here. Flavor needs to go. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the snake. This could be you or somebody else. Flip it where it needs to go. Baby boo. Diamonds are forever, forever. Diamonds are forever. Someone here might be getting a diamond. I don't know. We got Pisces at the bottom of the deck. Yikes. So your mother wanted you to believe something here that's not true. Or somebody here is about to find out that your mother lied on you or lied about you. Or there's some sort of hidden information that's about to be revealed to you that might get you in your emotions or might make you feel um, emotional, okay? Or overwhelmed. Whatever is about to be communicated to you. You got a lot of people here that were withholding something from you, Sag. And it's regarding the second house. Your second house... It's regarding uh, wealth, security, valuables, money, some sort of material thing, an asset. Okay, that's for some of you, not all y'all. Or you're about to find out that somebody here, okay, was purposely trying to affect your own self-worth, how you, how you view yourself, how you value yourself. Maybe you're going to find out who was behind all this. Diamonds are Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What they need to hit this time? What is this person trying to communicate with the third house? So, okay, so you have a toxic, selfish... Okay, there's a toxic, selfish individual, okay? That's very controlling... That wants to come in and act like they no longer want to play games, but I, chow. This person crying over you, or maybe someone crying because they played with you, they played games with you. Someone kept doing something over and over again to you, thinking something would happen, I don't know. Or this is someone here you constantly, you know keep breaking up with and then you know going back together with that's for some of you not all y'all we got can't be trusted this is somebody here you can't trust whoever this person that wants to come in and communicate with you and give you a sob story or ask you for your forgiveness we have time day time something here something here is being illuminated to you sagittarius okay you need to tell somebody no and mean it okay something here about um Keeping your boundaries firm, okay? 
There's something here about there's a lot to lose. You would have a lot to lose. You need to tell this person no. Yeah, we got forgive me. This person wants you to forgive them. Okay? You're going to be receiving some sort of justice here. You need to be cautious of this person that wants you to forgive them. Because someone here... um, Yeah, someone here just coming in because they want you to shut up. Somebody wants you to shut up about... um. Something that you know, something that you can see. You could be a seer. Maybe something here that you know that something that someone could have done in winter time of last year or something like this. Or there's someone around you, Sagittarius, that you're going to find out that is jealous of you or something like this. Or this person, um has some sort of hidden animosity towards you or you're going to discover that someone here is a fucking snake or somebody was was being a snake this whole time they could be pissed off about this they could be pissed off that you know this or that you're speaking up about it basically someone doesn't like that you're making them look bad or something um you could be suspicious of this person already yeah we got paid off karmic debt so someone owes you something here Yes, whoever you're thinking about, yes, it's them. They owe you money. They owe you something. They owe you an apology. They owe you something. Okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? Like, someone here was desperately trying to get people to believe something something completely wrong about you. Who's trying to come in with this forgiveness, this selfish person? This person could be a Gemini that's coming in trying to ask for your forgiveness, okay? Somebody wants you to take their side. Uh, something like that. Tell me more. We have brunette. It says, my hair is dark. Someone here who has uh, dark hair could be um, wanting your forgiveness. This person could be black. They could have African ancestry. Okay. Who this person that want their forgiveness? This person could wear glasses. Who this person that wants their forgiveness? This person could be real busty and lusty. Okay, that's for some of you, not all y'all. Okay, they don't have to be busty and lusty. They could just be busty. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who's this person? We got moles. This person could have moles or freckles. All right. That wants your forgiveness. This person could have blue eyes. That wants your forgiveness. This person could be real bougie or money hungry. That wants your forgiveness. This could have been someone who stole something from you. We got Virgo at the bottom of the deck. This person could be a Virgo. This could have been someone here who was supposed to be nurturing to you or supportive of you and they weren't. Okay, something like that. Or they want you to forgive them for not being nurturing or supportive when you needed it. Or when you asked for it or something like this. Who out here trying to act like they don't want to play games? So this person who has dark skin wants to come in and tell you they don't want to play any more games. This could be someone who has a sex demand on them or someone here who's for the streets. All right, this person is a big ass meanie head. This or this person could be trying to tell people you mean. You could be someone who knows who you are, and you're no longer messing or fucking with this person. And this person's like, "Fuck you, mean." Okay, now somebody, this person could be going around telling people you're rude, you're awful, because you don't want to sleep with them or because you don't want them to be in, being in your life, bro. <clears throat> Let's see. Who they who they exposing? So somebody nearby you, okay, or somebody who wants to get near you is gonna be wants you to shut up basically because you're exposing them. We got coming in, coming in to offer you resources or stability. So someone is willing to pay you some sort of resources or stability or promise stability in order for you to shut up. We have masculine energy. This could be a masculine energy wanting to come towards you to shut up about something here. All right. We have false flame. This could be a false flame of yours. Okay. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the rat or you do. This person could be a Gemini. Okay. Or they could have Gemini somewhere in their chart. This is just an ex-lover of yours. Dang. This is someone here you could have known for a very long time or you once were in a long-term relationship. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the ox thy horse 
a family member or a past connection could be coming in to try to get you to shut up, trying to pay you to shut up. We have tiger. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the tiger. This definitely could be someone here that you that was a soulmate of yours, okay? Or a partner or a companion. They want you to be quiet. This person's even willing to shut you up and pay you. Yikes. They want to keep something hidden, that's why. They don't want to be exposed. Mm. Eh. Yeah. Creepy. Did you not see this? <laughs> the card diamond diamonds are forever forever you're a diamond you shine bright baby boo continue doing so ciao someone was trying to go around and say that your diamond looking ass is a fucking cubic zircornian or whatever those fake diamonds and you fucking let me see Yeah, you definitely have value. Whoever I'm speaking to, continue to hold on to your value and your purity. Because someone here wants to muck up your energy, baby. Someone here wants to lower your self-esteem. Be careful. Or someone wants to cipher your spiritual power. This could be a person of water that wants to do this. Or you could have water somewhere in your chart. You could be a Cancer, um, Scorpio, Pisces, flip where it needs to go. You could be someone who's very emotionally connected. You could be someone who's very psychic, very empathetic, very intuitive and sensitive, all right? You could be someone who feels deeply, okay? And then it says takes things personally. So someone here could be taking something personally here. This could be you. There's going to be someone else. I don't know what it is, but you are a healer. You are a counselor. You could be someone who is an advisor, a life coach, something of this nature, all right? Maybe you're, you advised or canceled, counseled someone to um, walk away from another individual and now they mad at you and they want you to shut up. I don't know. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Maybe you exposed a Pisces, okay? Or you have Pisces somewhere in your chart. Tell me more. Yeah, we got roses. Somebody wants you to shut up, okay, about some sort of love situation. Somebody doesn't want to be, somebody doesn't want another individual to yearn for you or to love you. Or someone here could be trying to attack your love life, Sag. Someone here could be born on the first of a month. Or they're a Capricorn, flip where it needs to go. Yeah, whoever I'm speaking to, you, someone here is upset about you having an unconditional love with another person or you being soulmates with someone. Someone doesn't, someone is trying to change somebody's love for you. Because they a hater. Bro, are you for real? What the hell going on? You guys can be dealing with a Taurus. Don't have to be. But it is out here. We have Libra as well. Yeah, there's just a need for you to stay balanced right now, stay grounded, stay relaxed. Maybe there's a need for you to um, go within and do some sort of inner child healing if you haven't already, okay? Yeah, something like that, child. You got love coming in and someone here mad. Someone sees you as a fucking precious gem. And there's another individual that's either connected to you or connected to this person that doesn't want this to happen. Sag, I always get love readings for you. I love this. Yeah, someone here wants to possess you. Someone here doesn't want you to run off and fly free to someone else who's actually going to treat you well. They want to put you in a cage. They want to lock you up, baby boo. This is because someone here wants to have control over your resources. Something about, something about your second house. Or this is just about somebody here not wanting you to have anything. Someone here doesn't want you to have or be in a loving partnership. Someone here doesn't want you to have in your own independence and individuality. This is someone here who doesn't want you to have your own fucking voice, bro. 
Someone here doesn't want you out, out there to explore life. This is someone here who's, who... Somebody here about to get karma is what it's getting. Someone here could be a life path one, six, or four. Someone here doesn't want you to be lovable or they don't want you to feel like you're deserving of love, but you definitely are. Yikes. I'm also getting like... Yeah, someone here definitely want to communicate something with you. Diamonds are forever. Let's find out what's happening, Captain. So you got a petty person that's upset about, you know, your life. So what it seemed like to me, Sadgers, about your love life. Should I use these or should I use another one? Diamonds are forever. I guess I'll use these. Eh, yeah. Or these. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on with my Saggers? So somebody wants another person not to, like, express how they feel about you or speak to you or not tell you the truth about something. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on with my Saggers? What's happening? What do they need to hear for their highest good? We have spiritual. It says chaos, ego, death, downward, downward spiral, spiritual awakening. So someone here could be going through a spiritual awakening at this time. Or you could be, I don't know, you could be going through a, a transformation. We have truth, discovery, awakening. Yeah, something here could be getting illuminated to someone as they're going through a spiritual awakening. Maybe they're dis they're discovering something. The fact that she has her chest, you know, stretched open wide and stuff like this, it's giving like uh, someone's heart chakra is opening up, okay? Someone's allowing love into their heart. This could be somebody that you twin flames with. Your twin flame could be going through. <laughs> Magical. Your twin flame could be going through some um, some sort of spiritual awakening here. And they're realizing, they're discovering the truth about you, your guys' connection. Someone's realizing you guys are supposed to be twin flames. And your twin flame feels like a jackass. He feel dumb as hell. He feel like a clown. He feel bad. He does want to apologize. I don't know what you're going to do about this, okay? I don't know what you're going to do. We got karmic lesson. So, I don't know. Somebody here feels like they learned their lesson when it comes to what they did. Okay? Or somebody here just recently broke up with somebody that um, they learned a karmic lesson from. Like a karmic that they were dealing with. That's for some of you, not all y'all. We got workplace affair. So, maybe somebody here... Um, it came out in reverse. So, maybe... Okay. I can see this in a couple ways. Sag, you guys could have been dealing with somebody who cheated on you with somebody that they worked with, all right? Or someone lied about you, okay? And said that you cheated on them with somebody that you work with. And maybe this person believed a lie. They believed a, an illusion and they, you know, it caused more confusion. This was done on purpose because some someone here was being petty someone here was jealous of your romance between you and another person so someone purposely broke you up with somebody else someone purposely broke you up with someone else with lies this is about to be revealed okay we got my way it says selfish stubborn arrogant prideful and ego egotistical so uh whatever this person is going through right now with this spiritual awakening or ego death it's causing them to really like look within and see who they is and maybe they're going through some sort of inner child healing as well okay maybe this person could have been for the streets or literally out in the streets doing things they shouldn't be doing or maybe somebody here um got arrested or went to jail maybe the divine had to sit this person down okay We got bad news at the bottom of the deck. So I don't know. Maybe someone here is about to receive some sort of bad news here. Reckless love. What the hell going on? Or maybe this is some maybe this is your twin flame that just can't stop sexing everyone. <laughs> 
Maybe you got a twin flame that can't stop sexing people. Maybe they got some sort of spirit on them or something. It says reckless sex. Someone here is constantly doing this. They can't they can't stop. Child, they need to stop. This is a divine masculine. We're speaking about a divine masculine, guys. Oh my god. Get it together, sir. Ma'am. Whatever. What's up with this divine masculine? This divine masculine is stressed out and they're worried. They're good. They're oh, they could be having nightmares because of what they did to you or how they sabotaged some sort of uh, twin flame connection with you. This person could be hung over. Okay. This person could be drinking a lot. This person could have be they could be having sleepless nights or experiencing a lot of adversity in their life right now. Okay. Maybe this person is getting into a lot of arguments or, or uh, something, chow. They're thinking that they're haunted by some sort of memories of how they did you. I don't know. And how they truly love you now, I guess, child. Uh, 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 uh. This is for some of y'all, not all y'all. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on with my Sadgers? What's going on with my Sadgers? What do they need to know when it comes to this divine masculine? Sending dirty snaps. Sexting, flirting on social media. So a divine masculine could be doing this, or maybe you caught them doing this. I don't know. And now they're haunted by this memory because you caught them sending dirty messages or snaps to people on social media. Or I don't know. This person can't keep their pants, keep keep the pants zipped up or something. Or this person might try to, this divine masculine might try to sex text you. That's not a good... This boy need to get an exorcism or something. Divine Masculine. It says it's about to go down. <laughs> what is happening? It says an event that has taken place. It says watching it unfold. So uh, something, something's going to go down with somebody here sending some sort of naughty photos or something like this. Somebody's deciding to play with, fly with fire. It says doing something dangerous, being careless. Someone here is about to get burned. There's a divine masculine that could have contracted some sort of STT, STD or they are going to be contracting one because they can't, they haven't learned their lesson of having self-fucking-control, bro. This is called self-control. Have self-control. Yeah, this is somebody here that you you have already blocked. It says no contract. No, no contract. You don't have a contract with this person no more. It says blocked. It says don't want to be bothered. You don't want to be bothered with this motherfucker. Or this person could be trying to... Maybe your divine masculine is blocking people. Maybe they he got bitches. <laughs> he or she. Because divine masculine could be a man or a woman. But whatever. Whoever this person is. Um, they could be, uh, be getting like sexually advanced. Or something like that. People could be throwing themselves at this person. And this person, this, this divine masculine could be blocking these advances. Because they they have their eye on a businesswoman or something like that. We got businesswoman, CEO, entrepreneur, successful business owner, fearless. Okay? So somebody here could... Somebody here is in fear that you're going to find someone else. So they're like, fuck it, I don't want to be with these other bitches. I want to be with my person maybe someone doesn't want to be a player no more i don't know i don't know about this i don't know how to feel i mean if this person's healing then i guess that's good we have reviewing yeah seeing you in a whole different light so someone ha now that they have gone through a spiritual awakening awakening they are now seeing you in a different light okay they're doing some sort of life review they're reviewing how they treated you they're reviewing how the relationship played out they're reviewing how they were in the wrong confirmation they're reviewing that they were selfish being stubborn being arrogant being prideful and egotistical this person feels bad i don't know what you're gonna do with this information sag but i'm just letting you know okay i'm not picking sides i'm just i'm giving you the message because i know some of you might still want to smack the fuck out of this person okay <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Tell me more. Someone here might be going to jail for something. Maybe you're going to find this out. But they have to. They need to. We have Dreamy. It says, having vivid dreams or each other. Maybe this person is in jail right now. I don't know. That's for some of you, not all y'all. But it says, having vivid dreams. So you two could be dreaming about each other right now. Okay. Late at night when all... Wait. Late at night when all alone. Is that how it goes? No. Late at night when... I'm all alone. I'm dreaming something, something. <laughs> I don't know. Salinas. Someone's name could be Salinas. Selena. Selene. Someone here is thinking about you a lot. They dream about you, child. Late at night when they're all alone. They stop and they think of you. And they wish on a star <laughs> that somewhere you are dreaming of them too. Yes, they do. Because they dream in <laughs> of you tonight till tomorrow. I'll be holding you tight. <laughs> I can't. Let me stop. Okay, so it says minding my business, minding my own business. It says doing me for me. So whoever I'm speaking to, you sipping your tea, drinking your water, minding your own motherfucking business, okay? <sighs> You're unbothered, basically, is what it feels like. And you got somebody here who's very petty and upset and doesn't want this union to come together. They don't want, they don't like that this person's going through a spiritual awakening. This person has was unawakened. Now they're awakened. Okay, so with knowledge comes responsibility, right? So this person now knows that if they... This person knows now. I'm not trying to give them a, an excuse, okay? But they, they was a little stupid. And they're, they're realizing how dumb they is or was. I don't know what you're going to do about this. But anyways, there's a petty person that's in this situation that's witnessing this person go through a spiritual awakening, watching them change, watch them, you know, see the error of their ways. And this person want to start drama. This person is very vindictive. Let's find out who this motherfucker is. This person's first, middle, or last name could start with an A. Don't have to be, though. It says vindictive, argumentative, evil motives, plotting. So you got someone plotting on your ass. I don't think it's this person going through a spiritual awakening. I really don't think it is. Okay? I, they don't feel that way. This feels like another motherfucker. This feels like one of the one of the women who are trying, women or men, okay, who are trying to um, make advances at this divine masculine. Okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, and they're mad because they're being ignored. Um, who's this person trying to start drama? This could be a cancer that's trying to start some sort of drama or someone who's heavily in their feelings. This individual could be Caucasian or come from the Caucasus Mountains. They could have, they could have European ancestry. Tell me more. Who is vindictive weirdo? Okay, we got player. Oh man. Okay, so either this is the player that has vindictive motives, child. I don't know. Or or one of the one of the one of his bitches. I don't know. Tell me more, spirit. Why do we have starting some drama? Who's starting some drama? Okay, someone here could play music or be a musical artist or something like that. This could be you or someone else. Or pay attention to the songs that you if you are a channeler and you have clear sentience, not clear sentience, clear audience. Um clear audience abilities, you may be pay attention to the songs that you're picking up, okay? Because it could be coming from this person. I don't know. Um, we have Silly always laughing. So there's someone here who's always laughing at some sort of drama. They continuously to try to put you in or try to continuously play with you or this divine masculine. Somebody wants to plot some sort of evil plan to make you look stupid so they can laugh at you 
you know what I'm getting? Like, someone wants to be like, oh, I slept with your man, or I'm sleeping with your man, or I don't know, something like this. Something weird. Who is this person starting some drama? We got romantic. Okay, so this is someone here who wants to start drama. So this could be somebody here that's trying to make advances at this divine masculine to start drama between you and this person. But this is someone here who don't even want this divine masculine. They just don't want this divine masculine with you. This person could have an accent. Okay, because I speak differently. And then we got imperfect smile, somebody's mouth. I don't know. Flip it where it needs to go. All right. But, um, that's what it feels like. What is this, um, starting drama? Yeah, someone's trying to start drama because they want to stop someone's progress when it comes to finding love or coming towards the person that they really are in love with. They're trying to cause some sort of problems with this. I'm telling you. They're trying to change someone's feelings of, uh, of how they feel about you. But this person's feelings for you is unconditional. Okay. This person could be your official person. Or some... Okay, so listen. If this... Okay, listen. <sighs> for some of y'all, your twin flame could have left you or you left them whatever it is i don't care what the story is basically this this twin flame y'alls whether you know this twin flame already or you don't this person who's going through a spiritual awakening it was or is currently connected with a karmic partner either they live with this person or they just broke up with this person or they're trying to move out of this person's house whatever it is or they're trying to leave them. They're, it's fine. they're finding it challenging to express that they want to leave this karmic. Maybe this karmic is known to be very vindictive and evil. Like this person has seen this person's evil ways firsthand. And maybe that's why they haven't left them yet. I don't know. Listen. Maybe this person is trying to be smart about it. Okay. Maybe somebody knows that they're with a karmic. This person, if they decide to leave, like if this divine masculine tries to leave this vindictive, argumentative, argumentative um, person, they're afraid that this person's gonna call like the police on them to get them locked up with this thug card. Maybe they have information about this person doing some sort of street activities and this person could be blackmailing them. Like, oh, if you leave me, I'm gonna tell so-and-so I'm gonna tell the cops you do X, Y, and Z. I don't know, because they don't want you to be in love. That's for some of you, not all y'all. I don't know who you're dealing with. Okay, this could be like a white collar crime. This could be a street crime. This could be anything. Okay, or someone here wants to maybe tell their se sexual secrets. I don't know. <laughs> what the hell is going on, Sag? Let's get out Big Bertha. Somebody here, yeah, because somebody here is trying to get someone to shut up. Somebody doesn't want their secrets revealed or exposed. I don't know. And I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, Sag, you you minding your fucking business, okay? So I don't know. This is drama that's happening, like, outside of you. We have, if you know who you are, then you'll know what to do, North Node. I feel like whoever I'm speaking to, you chilling, and you in your North Node. Okay, you're not bothered by whatever this is. Tell me more. We have a corrupt organization. So there's something here about a corrupt organization involved in this situation. Someone here could be dealing with someone who's Russian, okay, or who is bilingual. This could be you or someone else. We have um, guilty by association. So someone here is about to be guilty by association, okay. Someone is, when it comes to some sort of corruption. Or someone here was trying to get you to be guilty by association. We have coworker. Something here about your coworker could be of significance as well. Okay. Or somebody that you work with is guilty by association. We have coworkers threatened by your work ethic. So you have a coworker here who's threatened by your work ethic. Okay. They could have thought you were stupid because you're you're nice. Holy Spirit, holy angels, can you tell me more? This so someone here could be obsessed with you. Or someone here is going to be guilty by association because they, they're associating with this obsessed person. 
who's trying to take you out ciao either take you out on a date or take you out of this world we have coyotes somebody here their life is going down a detour there's something here about a trickster spirit co-worker and a trickster spirit we have criminal insider trading could be of significance as well so your co-worker could be threatened by your work ethic they could be involved in some sort of cor corrupt organization or they're linked to a corrupt organization that they made a bad business deal in order to do something negative to you okay what the fuck is going on so so someone here this is part of some sort of evil plan or plot that's being detoured or being um put to a halt yeah someone here could be trying to send you a lot of psychic attacks sending you the evil eye okay Someone here could be a, a frenemy of yours. This person could be having trouble sleeping or they could be depressed or this is what they wanted you to go through. They wanted you to be confused, drained. It says you're getting a promotion. So there's a coworker here that you that you work with that is upset because you're getting a, pr a promotion here or you're doing well at work. I don't know. You have an ex that is in regret because they left you. And they probably could be going through some sort of legal troubles because of who they're connected with now. They chose a karmic over you or something like this. This is for some of you, not all y'all. Someone here is guilty by association when it comes to some sort of armed robbery. They made a deal with a real obsessed person, person here. Something here about false documents could be of significance as well in, in your situation. Something here about the month of June. The month of June, somebody here could have done something to you or some sort of the, some sort of change of plans happened back in June. Someone's name could be June. Someone here could be a Gemini that you're dealing with or a Cancer. We got Z. Someone's first middle or last name could start with a Z. This could be yours or someone else's. Yeah, there's a lot of coworker energy. You got a coworker who's plotting against you. Who's this co-worker that's plotting against them? Or not who this co-worker. Okay, so someone here is trying to block your destiny or take your destiny. This could be somebody here who wants to have your new beginning. This person's a trickster. Or someone's literally trying to rob you. Someone thinks they're real sly or cunning. This person could have a child, don't have to be. Or someone's plotting against you because they want to look innocent. Or you need to use caution when it comes to someone trying to come in acting like they want to help you or something here. Who is this coworker plotting on them? This coworker could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the rat that's plotting on you. Who's this person that's uh, a co-worker that's plotting? This person could be nearby you or they're trying to get nearby you. Who is this co-worker that's plotting on them? We got twin flame. This could be a twin flame that's a co-worker of yours that's plotting on you. Or your twin flame has a co-worker that's plotting on you. Or someone here is plotting on you because they don't want you to have a twin flame. They don't want you to be in love. They're jealous of it. We have friend, acquaintance, or co-worker. So this could be a friend, and acquaintance, or a co-worker that is plotting on you with an X of yours. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the dog or they're trying to plot so that somebody here doesn't come in and be with you. This person could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the horse. That's a coworker that's plotting on you. This person could be a Pisces or they could have Pisces somewhere in their chart that's plotting on you. This is a hidden enemy. This person could be an Aquarius. This person could be karmic. So this could be a karmic Aquarius, karmic Pisces, karmic horse, dog, ex-partner, karmic friend, acquaintance or co-worker, rat, or karmic twin flame. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Somebody here thought something was fun too. Fucking with you. This co-worker here that was plotting on you. They thought something was funny. Tell me more. 
We got parking ticket. Something here about a parking ticket is of significance. Maybe someone here was trying to get out of a parking ticket or someone here is about to get some sort of get into some sort of legal trouble we have unstable person so someone here back in june was trying to do some sort of psychic attacks on you so you could become unstable okay this co-worker was trying to sabotage your work because they knew you were up for a promotion and they wanted to sabotage that for you someone here could have even went to the extent of trying to plant drugs on you and if this isn't some, if this isn't something that's happening to you this could be something that's happening to your twin flame like your real twin flame someone here you have a soul connection with that you're supposed to be with this person could be could have already expressed that they no longer want to associate with a co-worker or they no longer want to associate with whoever this karmic individual is that they were dealing with and this person has gone through a, a like this extreme of lengths to try to block this person from coming towards you by putting them in legal trouble so this person could have tried to plant drugs on this person or did okay and they could be getting locked up for that. Or somebody here could have been um, psychically trying to attack this person while they're going through a spiritual awakening. Trying to make this person mentally unstable or something here. So they don't they don't know who they are or some shit. I don't know. But whatever it is, it's a bad business deal. Something here didn't work out. We have knife. Someone here could have been trying to stab you in the back. Or you're about to have some sort of clarity here. Or there's a knife here that has been found. Or some sort of fingerprints found on a knife. It says, you make me feel small. So there's someone here that feels like you make them feel small and they're obsessed with you. So they took some sort of bad business deal, some sort of bribe, okay, in order to do something against you. We have self-empowerment. You could be someone who's very empowered and someone here wanted to disempower you. Someone here wanted to take your power away. Okay, someone desperately wants to see you fall. This person does not want to see you happy. Don't want to see you shine. Jerug bust. Something about that is going on, or someone here is about to get busted with Jerugs. Who knows? We got moving or relocating. So someone here could have recently moved or relocated. This could be you or someone else. We got bad karma. Someone here could be receiving some sort of bad karma here. Or karma in general. We have having immune system issues. So something about someone's health could be of concern. Okay. Something about your sister. Your sister could be of significance. Maybe your sister, you're going to find out the truth about your sister or that your sister backstabs you or something here. Or your sister and your coworker teamed up together. Someone was trying to slow you down. Somebody here wanted to negatively affect your health so that you wouldn't be able to perform or do what you do for work. This could have been an older man that they're working with that is a co-worker that's threatened by your work ethic that teamed up with your sister or your father or a baby father or something. An older woman. This could be a couple that are in stress and fear because of who they teamed up with to torture you or cause you unnecessary stress, adversity. They're expecting some sort of... Um, they're expecting some sort of um, karma. They are. They are. Holy Spirit, they know something here is the end. We have homeless. Somebody here going to go homeless. Okay. If they aren't already. The feds already know something here. We have false documents. There's something here about some sort of false documents that are being exposed. Maybe someone here falsely claimed that you were an unstable person on documents. Okay, your coworker. Someone here had uh, help by your coworker to do so. We have this. Something about that is of significance. Okay, we have stomach issues. All right, someone here could be experiencing some sort of stomach issues. Maybe they're getting nervous because they know they're going to be homeless here. They could have stole something from you. They could have stole a home. We have this. Okay, someone here could have been accusing you of this. Harming a child or maybe they harmed you of a, They harmed you when you were a child or um, there's a need for you to heal this part of you. I don't know. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Or this is someone here who wants to re-traumatize you. I don't know. We have persecution. Someone here wanted to persecute you. We got the number 12, 1244. You guys can be seeing this number a lot. That's for some of you. Not all y'all. So somebody here wanted you to be 
publicly humiliated. Somebody here wanted other people to shame you or to talk shit about you. Your sister has a lot to do with this. Your sister could have stole something from you and then put that stolen money into some sort of stock or something here. Uh, we got October. Someone here could be a Libra or a Scorpio that you're dealing with. All right, that made a bad business deal or someone here made a bad dis business deal. I almost said Disney. Someone here made a bad business deal back in um, October. We have ask for a badge number. All right, so I don't know. We got karmic feminine. All right, something here about a karmic feminine is of significance in this situation. There's a karmic feminine that could have been planning on you getting assaulted in some way. Or that's what they wanted. This could have been a sister, a co-worker of yours, or somebody. We have trouble sleeping. Someone here is having trouble sleeping for what they was trying to do to you. This is someone here who is uh, has a no empathy. They're a no empathy, have an ass motherfucker. Okay? That you're dealing with. We got restraining order. For some of you, you're going to need to um, get a restraining order against someone here. Someone here that could have a, this could be a karmic parent that you need to get a restraining order from or a, or a co-worker or whoever this unstable person is. This person is going to be coming towards you with a lot of aggression or a lot of anger. Okay. This person needs help. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Who's this person that I need to get a restraining order against? Who do they need to get a restraining order against? A Scorpio. So you might need to get a restraining, a restraining order against someone who is a Scorpio. This person could have um, full lips. Who's this person that they need to get a restraining order from? Someone here who's always laughing at your pain. Or someone here who always thought something here was funny. We got romantic. Somebody here that was uh, an ex of yours. You might need to get a restraining order from. Someone here is laughing something off. Or maybe someone's laughing at a restraining order you already put against them. This is someone here who's not honoring the or respecting the restraining order or something like that. They keep getting nearby you when they're court ordered to not. We have Gen Z. This person could be a Gen Z or they could be born in the 2000s. Okay, that's for some of you, not all y'all. Tell me more. This person could live in the city. Okay, an urban area or you do. We got swag. Okay, this person, something here about they swag or they fresh or they always want to look fresh. This person could be a rapper. They could be some sort of artist. That's for some of you, not all y'all. We have brunette. This person could have dark hair. We have Pisces. This person could be a Pisces that you need to get a restraining order from and an Aquarius that you need to get a restraining order from. Someone here who has blue eyes, you might need to get a restraining order from or these are your characteristics. Flip it where it needs to go. I'm not your mama, not your daddy. But someone here is unstable and they need to, uh, they need to get it together. Who does Karmic Feminine want they be looking like? This Karmic Feminine could be a Leo. Okay, or they're connected to a Leo, or they have Leo somewhere in their chart, or this karmic feminine has been illuminated and exposed, okay, as a karmic female. Who is this karmic feminine? This person could be Asian. They could be have Asian ancestry. Who is this karmic female? Someone here could be Korean. Mm, Japanese. We have blue collar worker, so um Okay. And then we have Sagittarius, all right? So this could be another Sag. This could be a Karmic Feminine Sag, okay? Karmic Feminine uh, Scorpio. They could be a Sagittarius Scorpio Cusp. That's a Karmic Feminine. They could be a Sagittarius Capricorn Cusp, okay? That's a Karmic Feminine. Or this person was obsessed with trying to take out revenge on you and target you. This person could have had a gun or a weapon or something here. Or a knife or something. They were really trying to get you got. Or they were trying to send someone towards you to get you got. Okay. This person could have curly hair. This person could be an animal lover. They could have a pug as a dog. Who is this karmic female? This person could be from down south. This person could be real country like or something. That's for some of you, not all y'all. This person could be an Aries. Don't have to be. Or this uh, karmic feminine was determined to win determined to fuck you over determined to keep you and another person away okay determined to whatever see you down see you down bad who is this obsessed weirdo okay that's a lot who is this obsessed weirdo spirit who is this person that's obsessed with them someone who has olive skin could be very much obsessed 
Okay, with you, they could have brown eyes. All right, this person could be really into sports. Okay, they could be a sports fan. Who is this person who's obsessed with you? This person could be a hothead. All right, so they got a real bad temper. This person could be a Libra. Okay, or they could have Libra somewhere in their chart. Or this person is just mad because you get injustice and you won something here. We got Taurus. This person could be a Taurus here who's obsessed with you. Tell me more. Or someone's obsessed with your second house. This could be a Scorpio who's obsessed with your second house. We got um, narcissistic. This is a very narcissistic individual. This person could be black. Okay, they could have African ancestry. This person could be real emotional right now. Because something here is not working out in their favor. They're experiencing some sort of backfire where it's causing them to have trouble sleeping, stomach issues, and they could be facing homelessness or something. Or they have unpaid parking tickets or they have a citation that they need to deal with. Or maybe somebody made a bad business deal in order to get some sort of parking ticket to be removed from their, their record. Okay. And something is backfiring. What's up with this bad business today? Yeah, playing games. Somebody here played games here. Why do we have bad business deal? Yes. Someone made a bad business deal to come to come towards you. To fuck you over or to play games with you or to play mind games with you. That was the whole deal. Maybe to come in and make you feel like they love you or something like that. Claim someone. The, uh, because somebody here doesn't want you to be with somebody else they they feel like they already claimed you we got blackmail or someone already claimed your person that you're supposed to be with someone here definitely has been blackmailing someone i'm also getting like someone here had a has to file for bankruptcy Somebody real angry. Who does? Why is this person angry? Someone's angry because you're still either you're still making progress and you're moving forward in a positive direction, or your person is. Or someone's angry because someone is still going to travel towards you and communicate how they feel or whatever. Yeah, someone wants to come in and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. This could be happening sometime this month. And someone's in stress and fear about this because you, someone's going to tell you the truth about something here. Maybe someone's afraid to go to jail. Yeah, whatever this is, it's going to lead to great happiness. Someone's angry about your great happiness. And someone here is going to be sad, depressed, and upset. Someone's upset, you're going to be happy. That's all. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what do my Sadgers need to hear regarding this situation? What do my Sadgers need to hear regarding this situation, Spirit? It says 11 11 you guys can be seeing this number a lot it says awakening everything is falling into place so everything that's supposed to be happening right now is meant to be happening it's just the way it's supposed to go we have 777 it says luck is on your side oh my god you luck you lucky what else they need to hear someone gonna have a lucky break tell me more we have cleanse. It says, go take a spiritual bath or shower to wash off their energy. Water is cleansing. So some of you might need to do this. Cleanse your aura. Tell me more. Because someone here could be sending you psychic attacks. We have overactive crown. It says, they're obsessed with spirituality. So you guys could be dealing with someone who's obsessed with doing magic on your ass. Okay? They're trying to make sure. They're trying to stop you from being in alignment. Okay? Or somebody else, your person from being in alignment. We have end it. Send love and light. It will disrupt their whole world because they are used to negativity. So just continue to, to send them love and healing. Hopefully they will be enlightened to their bullshit confirmation. And they'll stop fucking with you. 
that's what you should pray for okay because this this battle is not yours to be fought we have overactive throat it says steady throwing shade and having your name in their mouth so someone here is constantly talking shit about you okay and that's you guys could be um subconsciously picking up this energy or whatever so just continue to cleanse cleanse your area cleanse your aura yeah egg cleanse clear your aura all right maybe you guys could be feeling a little irritated it's because of this person holy spirit holy angels who talking shit about them this could be a scorpio so you got a scorpio that's heavily talking shit about you okay or a capricorn is heavily talking shit about you or you got someone here who's talking shit about you throwing shade on you because they jealous because you're hard working or um someone here is heavily talking shit about your sexuality or how you are in bed or saying that you a hoe i don't know something like that that's for some of you not all y'all maybe someone was saying that you slept with a co-worker and you didn't somebody wanted everyone to look at you like a whore or something like that this person could be a cancer okay that could have been talking shit maybe you hurt this person's feelings Maybe this is a, maybe for some of y'all, this is a, someone that you used to work with and you denied their sexual advances, your, their advances. And so then they got butt hurt and went around and told everyone you slept with them when you did not. Okay. Maybe that resulted in you getting fired or something like that. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Or maybe that's what they wanted to happen and it didn't happen. Over our throat chakra. That's for some of you, not all y'all. This person could have braces. I don't know who this bitch is or this dude is. Okay. But they keep coming out. Who's this person with these braces talking shit? This is someone here who's two-faced. They love you today. They hate you tomorrow. Who is this brace-faced individual? This could be somebody who's in your family or somebody you had a past connection with. Who is this brace face? This is someone here who admires you. Okay. This is someone here who nurtures and supports you or pretends they do, but they talk shit. Who is this? This could be somebody here who's wanting to come in to offer you resources and stability to shut up. Who's this base face? Because you're exposing them or something. Is this someone here who's nearby you? Or they're trying to get nearby you? This could be a masculine energy. Ciao. Tell me more. Who talking shit? This could be someone who has a pickup truck. <laughs> this person could have a pickup truck who's talking shit about you. Okay. Ciao. Yeah, they thought something was real funny when they was talking. Oh my God. They thought something was real funny when they was talking shit about you, but they about to get their ass whooped, child. Something ain't going to be funny so much. No more. Jeez. Yeah, somebody here wanted to look real good. Somebody was trying to look real good. Someone here was trying to get other people to look at you negatively because they wanted to feel better about themselves because you rejected them or you turned them down or something like that that's for some of you not all y'all this is someone here who has a damaged aura or this is someone here who was trying to get you to get your aura damaged or something by their shit talkery <laughs> shit talkery <laughs> okay Yeah, someone here is hung up on you. This could be a sneaky link that you cut things off with. Or, or Sag, this is someone here that, you know, your divine masculine. They cut off some sort of sneaky link. Some sort of lover that they was messing with. A side piece or something. And now this person's obsessively fixated on you and, and this divine masculine. They can't stop, you know, stalking y'all. Trying to fuck something up. That's for some of you, not all y'all. I don't know. Someone is digmatized or or kitty whipped. Okay, something like that, y'all. Holy Spirit, holy angels. What else do my satyrs need to hear regarding the situation? We got new moon. It says plant fresh seeds. Okay, so somebody here is deciding to start something new. Okay. Or maybe you need to, okay? We have fixed 
it says keep on keeping on so keep on doing what you want to do or what you're doing okay in order to get these seeds to sprout all right whatever that may be you're almost at the finish line so keep going we have juno it says find your true love okay so i feel like whoever i'm speaking to keep going down the path you're going you planted good seeds you've made great investments and it's leading you down the road to find your true love and someone here is flipping out about it your twin flame is here your twin flame has finally woken up maybe they know who you is now you may know this person you may not know this person let me make that clear okay it don't have to be twin flame it could be divine partner whatever we have venus something here about love attracting abundance whoever i'm speaking to you're attracting love into your world there's a need for you to to affirm that okay affirm that you are attracting true love and abundance into your life we have cusp it says break on through babe break on through to the other side we got cusp someone here could be a cusp baby this could be you or someone else so either your twin flame is a fixed sign that's also a cusp baby so this person could be a cusp aquarius sign a cusp taurus a cusp leo a cusp scorpio am i missing another one i think that's it i think there's only four aquarius taurus scorpio leo yeah tell me more yeah so 12th house in reverse rest and rejuvenate someone here can no they can't rest so it's causing someone to be restless it's causing someone to be restless because some sort of illusions and confusions have been cleared someone knows who their true love is or someone's on their way to figure out who their true love is someone really does not want you to have this you have it though this is beautiful ciao someone's i also feel like with this divine masculine they're they're the people around them that were like frenemies or hidden enemies they have now seen them they see them clearly they see them as such enemies okay we have seventh house it says make a commitment someone's coming to you to make a commitment child this is a love reading this this is saggy oh this is part of your freedom your liberation Oh, you deserve it. You deserve love. You do. Okay, listen, listen. This is beautiful. Okay. What's these motherfuckers' karma, child? Because they're playing games. <laughs> they're playing games. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? Some of you, something about a memory of you being a child and, um, you eating snow. Oh my gosh. We have, uh, chosen to be a blood sacrifice. So you're chosen to be a blood sacrifice. Okay. But it ain't happening, Captain. Wow. We have abandoned by loved ones. So someone here is about to be abandoned by loved ones. We have being isolated from their friends and family. So this is something that might be happening to them because they wanted that to happen to you or, the, or it did happen to you. We have their spell work backfiring and working for you instead. So <clears throat> somebody here who was trying to send you black magic or any sort of spell work, that shit backfired and now they're going through it. I don't know what type of spells they did, but child, they done fucked up. Let's find out. Matter of fact, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what are these motherfuckers doing now that their spell work is backfiring what 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 spells are backfiring what are the spells that they were doing on my sagers somebody here was doing a lot of spells on you because in their mind they thought you were doing spells on them 
so that's why they were targeting you wow shut the fuck up it says you are clear of psychic attacks in the evil eye during this time continue to cleanse your energy so someone here was definitely trying to send you uh, psychic attacks in the past but i feel like whoever i'm speaking to now you just need to cleanse your energy tell me more what kind of um thank you so someone here was spying on you. It says someone is using divination tools to pry into your personal life for their advantage. And this is how they do their uh, spells on you. This is what they this is how they decide which spells they're going to do on you. Because someone's really trying to block you from your true love. This is someone here who's very much jealous of your union. Some sort of divine union you are destined to have. Maybe they don't have a... They're not destined to have a divine union or something. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels... What spell work are they doing on them that's backfiring? Okay, we got divine protection. So you have divine protection here. Or someone here could be trying to do some sort of protection magic on them and it's not working. This spell work is still going to backfire on them. It says love, theft, magic. So someone here is doing magic or spell work to take your love from you. That's That was the spell they was doing. And they were spying on you to figure out when this person was coming in. Yeah, you could have taken a spiritual bath already, or you need to, in order to remove any negative vibes. Someone here is about to receive some sort of instant karma here. It says they will receive instant karma for anything they try to do to you. Because justice is on your side. Now someone here is trying to do reversal magic. So listen, someone here could have been trying to attack you because they thought you were attacking them. But this person, what they were experiencing was their spell work that they were doing on you backfiring on them they thought you were playing harry potter games with them but you weren't they were playing this is this was god sending this shit back they were playing harry potter with god like i said this is not your battle to to fight the the most high your spirit team your ancestors they're all taking care of this shit okay now this person knows they in big trouble Okay, so they're trying to do some sort of reversal magic when it comes to like what they were doing to you because this person doesn't feel divinely protected anymore because they were messing with a chosen one. But they chose you to sacrifice because someone here wants to have your divine union. Somebody wants to have your blessings, your fortune. They specifically picked you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? We have fertility issues, so someone here going to have a hard time uh, reproducing or something. We have sight and, intuition, era, sight and intuition issues, so this is something that might be happening to them. Or this is something that someone was trying to do to you because they didn't want you to see them. Or see them clearly, or see what they was doing. We have being scammed or losing major money, so someone here is about to get scammed. Or they're about to lose a lot for fucking with you yeah victim of gang stalking and attack so someone here is being followed we have being hit with a series of life-changing unfortunate events so this is what's going to be happening to this person this person could have teamed up with the, with your gang stalkers accepted some sort of bribe and then something didn't go through so now they're they're being gang stalked i don't know so that they don't they don't expose something i don't know that's for some of you not all y'all let's get out the show it's gonna be loud. Okay. Someone's first, middle, or last name can start with an H, an S, a K, an N, an O, an S, a U, a J, an A, an O, a B, an X. Someone here gonna end up in a box. We got D. We have V, we have F, we have M, we have R, we have W, we have T, we have Y, we have A, we have I, we have K, we have T, we have A, we have W. We have M. Someone here could be born in 1999. Something about the number 666, balance and harmony is being restored in your life. <clears throat> Someone here could be born on the 18th of the month, 17th of the month, 19th of the month, 20th of the month. 
Something about the number 420 could be of significance. Someone here could be 37, 38, 31. Someone here could be born in 81, 83, 87, 82, 84, 86, 89, 1980. Someone here could, bo could be born in the 70s, the 1960s, the 1990s. Someone here could be born in 91, 93, 94, 95, 96. Well, not 95. Something here about master number 11 could be significant. Something here about the year 2013 or 2014 could be significant. Or 2016, 17 or 18. 19? Oh, another 8. You guys could, someone here could be born in 88. Somebody just boxed themselves in. They 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 got them some got themselves trapped in their own situation. Okay? Someone here could have been wearing a mask and their mask is being removed. We got mask. Okay. Someone here could be vomiting a lot. Someone here could be throwing up a lot for whatever magic they're trying to send you, okay? Someone here could be from San Francisco. Someone here could be from Massachusetts. <laughs> Something here about Huntington Beach is significant. Someone's name is Joshua. Someone's name is Ray. Someone's name could be Raymond. Someone here could have a son. Okay, someone's son could be sick. Someone's name could be Matt. Or something here about Mayat is of significance. You're getting justice here. Mayat could be helping you get justice here. Someone's name could be Ruth. Or maybe you're getting justice for somebody here being ruthless towards you, okay? Someone's name could be Kay. Someone could go by the name Jay. Someone's name could be Mary. Someone's name could be Mary Ann. Someone's name could be Anna. Someone's name could be Dwight. Or Dwayne. We got Mars. <sighs> Someone's name could be Tom or Tomas. Someone here could be from New York. Someone here could be from Washington. Someone here was being real shady being real aggressive, okay? And that's being put to a stop. Someone's name could be Shanita. Okay. Someone could drive a Toyota. Someone here could be from Denmark. Someone here could be from Maryland, Maryland. Someone wants to tell you that something's just a joke. Just kidding. Someone here definitely could have been mocking you.
something about you being joyful. Someone here doesn't want you to be joyful. Someone's name could be Shayna. Someone's name is Kira. Someone's name could be Kira or Kara. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the rat. Someone's name could be Shay. Or someone's name could be Sean. Someone here might be going around pushing around a cart soon in the streets or something for what they did to you. Someone's name could be Sia. Or Sahij. Sahaj. Someone here is definitely putting the dots together on who did what. Someone is about to see very clearly about a situation. Someone here could be going on a rant. If someone wants to argue with you, they want to go on a rant. They want to talk to you about or explain themselves about something here. Maybe someone's going on a rant about like stocks and bonds or something here, trying to justify why they stole your money to do this. Like someone here could be trying to say, well, I took your money and I invested it in these stocks. It's for your betterment and it was for you. But this person never planned on telling you about this money or something like that. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Someone here could be a shark. Okay, this person's a shark. Or you got a shark coming towards you that's trying to cause you money issues or that's what they were trying to do. Someone's name could be Antonio or Antoine. Someone here might be getting their car towed. Someone here could be, um, someone's name could be Mason. Or someone here could be part of the, the Masons. Maybe that's the corrupt organization. I don't know. Someone's name could be Jason. Someone here could drive a Dotson. Someone here could be from Kentucky. Someone here could be overweight, heavy set. Someone's name is Madison. Someone's name is Sam or Sammy. Someone here is about to be hooked up to an IV or something like that, child. Something about the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant. I keep hearing someone say, my son, my son, but it's my son. I don't know. Something might be happening to someone's son because they fucked with you. Um, it says the Ark of the Covenant is a chest that is said to have held the stone tablets with the Ten Commandments in biblical times. The Ark is also known as the Ark of God and the Ark of the Testimony and is considered the most sacred object by the Israelites. So listen, somebody somebody didn't realize how sacred you are or somebody here didn't realize like that they were breaking one of the Ten Commandments by fucking with you. I don't know. Someone's name is Howard or someone went to Howard University that's fucking with you. Something about Maui. Someone here could be from Maui or something here about a trip to Maui, Hawaii. Someone's name is Mark. Or someone's name could be Marcus. <clears throat> Marcus. Darius. Darius could be of significance. Someone wants to know how you were able to do something here. Someone's name is Amy.
someone feels like everybody wants to have sex with them or something like that or maybe this is how you feel or maybe that's what you're going to be going through you're going to have a lot of people trying to come in and you know try to offer themselves to you or something like that Osiris could be of significance. Someone here is about to be um, caught up for fraud. Someone here is about to get arrested for committing fraud against you. Um, maybe someone here definitely stole your identity or they frauded some sort of documents here. We got SOS. Someone here is going to need your help. Or somebody feels like they need help right now. They can't sleep. They know they're about to get caught up. Someone's name is Tim. Or Tammy. It's be your name or someone else's name. Someone here could be from Texas. Texas. Someone's name is Jamie. Jamie or Jaime. Someone here could drive a Kia. Someone here could drive a hatchback. Something here about Monday is significant. Something about someone's mama. We got mama. Mama! I just killed a man. Do 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 no, he's dead. Someone's name could be Trudy. Someone's name could be Rudy. Someone here could be getting in trouble for hurting someone, harm, harming someone. Mammoth mouth Mammoth Mountain is of significance or mammoth. Okay, so listen. There's something here about prehistoric animals. Someone here could be real ancient. I don't know. Um, or something here about some sort of beef you have with someone else from ancient times. It's playing out right now or some. Something. something about your stam stamina. Someone here was trying to mess with your stamina. Someone was trying to get you overworked, tired. Something here about your Tia, your aunt, could be involved in this. Minnesota is significant. Utah as well. Hmm. Someone's name could be Dax. Someone's name could be Dax or Max. Mama! I just killed a man. Do 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 just we have Jesus Christ. Somebody here need Jesus. They don't need to come to you. They need to go straight to Jesus. It says the King of Kings, the Messiah, the Prince of Peace, the Way, the Truth, and the Life. The Light of the World, the Resurrection, and the Life, symbol of God's love. So God is showing you love right now, child. Okay. You are protected. Continue to keep on praying. All right. We have Esther, patient Esther. You could resonate with the story of Esther in the Bible. It says, a lesson on overcoming obstacles. Queen Esther fasted, prayed, and waited on God's guidance before approaching the king. Her bravery and patience helped save a nation. So there's something here about your bravery, child. It's something here about you doing something even if you even even though you might be fearful okay it's paying off or it will pay off if you decide to do whatever this is child you could be going through a lot of obstacles and challenges or you just overcame them i don't know or you're about to tell me more we have give thanks in all circumstances for this is god's will for you in jesus christ well, hot diggity dang. This is something here about God's plan someone can't fuck with. All right. And then we have, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Okay, so 
child, you are of the light. You're here to do something here. You could be a descendant of Abraham or something like that. We have father of Abraham. It says a symbol of faith and obedience. He was not perfect, but he was a friend of God. He was willing to give up everything for God and God didn't leave him empty. So listen, don't give up on God. Continue to hold on to your faith. The most high is always with you. All right. Someone here, someone here wants you to lose faith. They want you to turn dark. They want you to turn to the darkness. This is someone who's throwing magic at you and they they want you to throw magic back at them. Okay, so you could sell your soul. And don't do it. You don't need to. Mm. Should I use this one? Yeah, let's use this one. What do my Saggers need to hear, Spirit, regarding this situation? And then we got the balance. We have take a vacation and say take time to escape all of your life obligations to recharge yourself. So some of you need to go out there and recharge. Okay. Go have some fun in the sun, baby boo. What else do you need to hear? We have financial goals. It says set and reach your financial goals to achieve financial stability. So there's a need to crack down and get serious about your financial goals. Get a real visual on what how many finance or how much finances you need in order to be stable financially budget your money figure out how much money is going out and how much money you got coming in figure out where you can you can do some sort of budget cuts or something like that okay in order to reach your financial goals of what you need if you need especially if you're trying to save up for something all right there's a need to do that We have see the beauty. It says learn to find the beauty in everything. See the world for all of its aspects. Okay, so some of you are being guided to go travel and see the beautiful things of the world or something like that, chow. Maybe you've been wanting to do this. Maybe you're trying to do that, but you're trying to work on your finances first. I don't know. That's for some of you. Not all y'all. Or there's a need for you to see the beauty in everything, okay? Because right now, maybe you could be going through some sort of challenges and obstacles and it's hard for you to... To do that okay don't lose faith it says do a 30-day challenge it says focus yourself to do something new for 30 days to form a new habit okay maybe this will be beneficial for you maybe something here about i am affirmations or we got self-exploration it says peel off the false persona and get to know yourself to find your truth okay so there's a need to do a little deep dive Okay. Tell me more. And then we have balance. It says juggling too many things at once. Find time for yourself. All right. So there we go. Okay. What else do my Sadgers need to hear so we can bounce? Let's do one of these. And then I got to go. For my Saggers. One of my Saggies need to hear Spirit for their highest good at this time. Your affirmation is, I am physically and emotionally connected and healed. For some of you, you might need to work with Shungite in order to help with your root chakra. Okay. It removes negative energy. It gives you a sense of stability and grounding. It cleanses and aligns your body. It, it helps balance your yin and yang energies. Okay. Tell me more. What else do my Sadgers need to hear at this time for their highest good? Some of you could benefit with working with Kababa Jasper. I don't know if I'm saying this right. It says, when I look within, I find peace, stillness, and tranquility. This also helps with your root chakra as well as your heart chakra. All right. This is all about balance. Ooh. And then we got, I don't know how to say this, lipo light, lipo leopard, something light. <laughs> this helps with your heart chakra and your third eye. The affirmation is, I am in control of my thoughts and my life. Okay? You're the creator of your own universe, all right? 
It says helps release toxic ego, releases spiritual baggage, aids in astral travel and rebirth, and it helps you live in the present moment. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. What else do they need to hear so we can bounce? What else do my Sagittarius need to hear so we can bounce? Spirit, thank you. We have something is so right about that. It says keep your word. Okay, so if you made some sort of promise or agreement, you need to keep your word on it, I guess. That shows self-love as well, okay? Even if you make agreements with yourself, like you say, hey, I'm going to work out uh, for at least 10 minutes every morning. That's that's my new goal. Keep your word. Because if when you keep your word with yourself, that that builds certainty between you and yourself. That builds um, trust and self-love, child. Keep your word. Tell me more. Discipline. We got to take the risk. Some of you are being advised to take some sort of risk here. Oh, my God. Maybe you promised yourself you were going to do something. It says the power of serenity now. Okay, so the power of now is of significance. And then we have... So maybe you guys are waiting to do something and you're being advised not to wait. There's no need for you to wait. You have all the tools at your disposal. We have all blissed out and nowhere to go. I guess I'll just chill. Okay, so some of you need to chill. We have, <laughs> she believed she could, so she worked her ass off and she did. So maybe there's, maybe you need to get, get grinding. Do what you need to do, child. You could do it. Si se puede, okay? We can do it. Tell me more what else they need to hear. We have let your, let your freak flag fly. And then it says Om Shakalaka or Shakalaka, some chow. Okay. Go out there and be yourself. Okay. Stop hiding yourself. The world needs you. This is going to be the end of your reading, Sag. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, I love you. Okay, bye.